Hey guys, Jay Bowers 563 here from Sons of Liberty Airsoft. Uh, this is going to be the first part of my M4 underfolder series. Uh, in this episode, I'm going to take apart this CYMA gun that I ordered, the little spring powered gun. This is in order to just get to the underfolder stock itself. Um, so we're just going to be taking that apart, making sure we can figure out how all that stuff works. This video is mainly for people who are looking to do this at home, but if you're interested in the gun, you can watch this too. So let's go ahead and get started taking this thing apart. Alright guys, we're about to get started taking apart this gun. Um, just got an assortment of uh, screwdrivers. Uh, just kind of being prepared for the situation. Don't really know what kind of screws are in this thing, what it's going to take, but you know, got every screwdriver imaginable, so it should be good. I'm sorry for the camera angle, it's not really the best, but I'll try and make sure you can see everything that I'm doing here. First thing we're going to do is take off this upper part, simply just push in at the back, and it comes right off. This reveals uh, the bolt carrier, and we'll go ahead and take that off. There's three screws on top of here. We'll take all those off right now. All right. There we have this. This piece actually here is metal, so it's kind of a shocker to me, but it is. So now, hmm, let's see here. I guess now we'll go ahead and start undoing these screws here, which hold the two halves of the gun together. As you can see, there's a crease down the middle, so it's two halves. It's not one solid piece of plastic. And we'll go ahead and see if we can separate these two halves. We're going to need to take off these two screws here in order to get to... The rest. And just for reference, the screw I got out of this hole here is a longer screw. The screw at the top is fairly short. You can see. Ah, well, just drop that little piece. That's all right. It's a small one, and the two that came out of the. Uh, of the handle here um, are slightly shorter than the one that came out of this hole here. Let's see here. Trying to see what else we've got to take apart. Okay, we've got a screw here underneath the stock. So we will fold that out. We've got one, two, three, and four screws here. We'll go ahead and get those out. I don't know if you can see this, but the mag release here is also in two halves and it is held together by this screw here. This screw here also needs to be taken out. So basically, anytime you see a screw and it's on the on the receiver, pretty much you're going to have to take it off. Okay. If you flip the gun to the other side, there is one screw right there. I'm assuming we're going to need to take that one out. Let's go ahead and get it out. And now that screw will remove this piece here, which was inserted into this hole like that. And now you can take this piece here off completely. I'm just taking a flathead screwdriver and running it down the crease of the grip because it is held together very tightly. Oh, looky here. We have a piece of 
wonderful bar steel, nice and rusty for you right there. So definitely keep that for some fun times. Now it looks like the gun is starting to separate. I think I'm going to run this flathead screwdriver. That's not it. Run this flathead screwdriver down the spine here to try and separate it. And there's your handguard off. One side. Oop. Let's see if we can get this other side off here. One side and second side. So there's our handguard. Taking that off reveals two screws. We have one, if I can get it in the camera, here, and one here. These both need to be taken out in order to separate the gun. Yet again, we're going to take our flat head, run it down the spine, kind of separate it and pull it apart gently. Here, pop. Got that open now. Trying to see if we've got any any other screws here. We do have this one here, which would hold on the gas block. We're going to take this one out as well. I'm trying to see under this front or the top handguard, trying to see if there are screws here which need to be taken off. Don't really think there are, but you know, better safe than sorry. I'm having to try and break something. For this, you kind of want to pry up on one side, take a screwdriver and kind of pop up on the other. Well, add it halfway there. By doing this process, you're breaking it loose on both sides, making it able to slide up and off like that. And there you have your top part. And yes, there are two screws here, which we need to take off as well. Have one here, and you have one here. Both of these need to be taken off. And now, I think we can get the halves of the gun apart. There we go. There is a spring of some sort which just shot out the side of the gun. There's the other spring shot out the back. Alright, so now you can see we can see the internals of the rifle, which you do have multiple wonderful pieces. Bar steel. Ooh. We even got a, oh man, we got a piece of rebar here. That'll be very useful if you're looking to do some construction some, sometime soon. Something interesting about this gun, which I'm now learning as I take it apart, this is the outer barrel which is exposed. If you notice anything about the gun, this here is the inner barrel. It stops right there. So, your inner barrel doesn't even run through this section. This here would probably be 8 to 9 inches of barrel, which there is no inner barrel in. So, what can I say? It's a cheap gun, you know. It happens, I guess. Now, I'm looking for the underfolder portion. Obviously, without trying to break the stock. I'm just trying to find pieces. Okay. Now it seems like what we have here, I'm trying to get it up here. This metal plate right here has two screws in it. 
see. It's got two screws in it. One's back here, you can't really see, and you have one here. This is holding on the, the stock, so we're going to take off those two pieces right there. And now you will have you have your metal piece here, and then you have your adjusting mechanism here along with the end part of the stock here. Now we're going to flip the gun over and do it to the same thing to the other side. Now this other side is set up different. Quite a bit different actually. As you can see we have a flat metal piece and that although it looks like a screw in the middle it is not a screw it seems to be a piece of uh, melted uh, plastic I'm gonna kinda fool around with that see if I can get it out and then I will tell you how it did it okay after further inspection I have found that at the bottom of it, I'm trying to get it so you can really see it. Uh, you can see it for a second. Right there, we have a small little Allen um, Allen screw. I'm assuming after we take that off, there's going to be a screw straight down through this. Let me go get some Allen keys, and then we will get that done. We'll open this up. Get my smallest one. Hopefully, this is small enough. To be honest, I don't really know if it's going to be. And it is. It's also in a very difficult position due to the grip. So, well, oh, there it is, right there. And that will just fall off. And that is just an end cap. Now you can completely remove your underfolder stock, which we have here. And then you have this piece here. You're going to want to go ahead and remove this with the plate behind it. And now this piece here, you can just push it out like so. And then you will have the base plate which is here which goes at the bottom here which you can see um, this has a notch this has a hole obviously the notch is going to go inside the hole 